Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm today going to be talking about a fascinating subject, chat GPT and the rise of AI. So for those of you that don't know, chat GPT is a open language model powered by AI. And one of the things I want to talk about specifically is how the rise of AI, like chat GPT, could be about to come after our jobs. Almost all of our jobs. Or, or maybe not. Now that's what we're going to be discussing a little bit later. Right now, I'm actually heading off to see my girlfriend. We're going to go have some lunch, hopefully. Uh, and whilst doing that, I will also go into this, this incredibly detailed topic that is AI. There's loads of stuff on the internet about it. it it's interesting. It is. It genuinely is. I've had, I've had a bit of a play. Um, more on that later. Right, one short drive later and I am ready to collect up V and we're gonna head out for lunch. But I just wanted to say a few more words about ChatGPT. So it's a chatbot, sort of. And GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. And I think that's actually quite an apt description. Oh goodness, it's, it's too bright for my eyes. I'm gonna need sunglasses. Um, yeah, basically, it's kind of like a lens for human thought rather than something that is thinking on its own because it's not really thinking it's taking intelligence and reflecting and focusing it in a way that you know bending and focusing it i should say just like a lens would uh, but if there's no light a lens does nothing and it's the same thing with chat gpt if you put in chaos out will come more chaos it's not actually doing what a human would do or, an, or a true intelligence does which is take chaos and turn it into something that is intelligent that's what we're good at that's not really what chat gpt is doing although it is so it's basically based on a, a block of information from the year uh, 2021 with limited understanding of or limited knowledge of other sort of future events you know because it's basically was a scan of the internet and that's what they used to, to, to train this thing. But it is quite useful and it does sort of herald a real shift in the capabilities of AI. And I mean, hopefully we're not going to lose too many jobs to it. Hopefully it will be more of a value add and a way to increase productivity with the existing workforce rather than necessarily scale everything back. But I guess we'll see. We'll have a little bit of a look at uh, ChatGPT and and what it's like to use and what kind of answers come out of it a bit later. Little caveat though, whatever answers do come out, you have to take with a grain of salt. You can't necessarily just assume that it is going to give you accurate information, although most of the time it probably will. It's going to have a big impact on education, that's for sure, because you can get lots of information, lots of research and scanning of the internet sort of done and delivered to you in a summary that makes sense and is not copy pasted from anywhere. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I wish I had it when I was at school, that's for sure. I think they're going to have to re-look at the way education works, which I think is long overdue anyway, to be honest, because people need to know how to use the tools that they're going to use at work, not how to replicate those tools in a slow and ineffective way that they are never going to use at work basically that's my feeling when it comes to education it's about how you use the tools not can you replicate their you know their purpose so as i said chat gpt is an ai powered language model developed by open ai one of the world's leading research organizations in the field of artificial intelligence and the development of chat gpt builds on years of research into natural language processing and machine learning one of the goals of open ai which was founded in 2015 is actually the development of safe ai tools not just powerful ones which is always a bit of a tricky thing because as i said these things tend to reflect human nature 
you know, they reflect the information that humans have put in. So, for example, when you train AI on, you know, sort of criminals or whatever, you can end up with, you know, so you had like maybe an AI that is looking through security cameras and trying to pick out shoplifters. Great, you'd think that's fantastic. I don't have to pay the security guard. The, he's not, you know, the AI is never going to get tired or whatever. But the problem is it may well include biases within that information which shouldn't be there and are unfair to different groups in of the population. And, you know, that is something which is a real risk and something which I think probably in the end, if they don't already, governments will end up legislating to protect people against. There'll be certain jobs that AI can't do because of those biases. Anyway, now I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go get V and um, see about some lunch. Mmm, I'm starving. Back on the daily run in me. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that always leads to me being very hungry. So where are we going for food then? Uh... Whitey! Pub lunch in the countryside. Awesome. Okay. Let's have a quick look at chat GPT. I just need to, no, nope, not that. I just need to turn on my Wi-Fi hotspot. So I got some internet. Cool. So this is what you see once you've logged into chat GPT and created a, well, you have to create an account. You can, you can have a free one and try it or you can upgrade to plus and you'll get extra features. You know how it works. It's kind of the same with lots of these websites, isn't it? Um, and then you can just put whatever you like. So, uh, please write me a blog post on the rise of AI, in particular, um, as it relates to chatbots. Okay, let's see what comes out. I could use this as the, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, see? And out it comes. Hmm. See? Chatbots are computer programs designed to simulate conversation with human users. They have become increasingly popular in many industries, from customer service to healthcare. <laughs> It's pretty good. Oh, I can't see. I'm going to have to put this on. But you can see what I mean. It's generating an enormous amount of content just like that. And it, if I needed to actually... I mean, it's, it's bonkers. I don't know how accurate all of this is. I haven't looked through it particularly. But, oh, oh, it's come to a grinding halt. That could be internet related. Or maybe it's just thinking really hard. Thinking. But yeah, I mean, I, c I could use this as the basis for today's vlog post. I haven't. I might pull some little bits out of it, actually, because it does, you know, have all sorts of important and interesting points that it can share, that it's gleaned from the, you know, the mass of internet information that it's, you know, been trained on. But uh, you can see how this is going to change how productive people can be in a in a given amount of you know time and that's really where the power of this sort of thing is at the moment it's hopefully not so much replacing people but enabling them to do more quicker and also better and also helping students to just go answer click there you go which is uh <laughs> something it's still going wow this is a it's doing a proper proper length job here I'm not going to hit stop generating. I'm just going to keep waffling until it's finished. <laughs> this is amazing. You know, I've, I've had a bit of a play with it. I asked it to do a script actually for um, a vlog post about chat GPT and it was much more concise is how I would put it. Um, I mean, it, it, it put it in interesting ways, you know, and it, it used, you know, good English and probably better English than I'm using right now. But do you see what I mean? It was, it, there is obviously an enormous amount of um, potential in this technology for enhancing and increasing the productivity of people in various industries. I mean, if I wanted to know something about a piece of legal text, 
you know, like a legal researcher perhaps would, I could use this program and it would just spit out reams of information about case law and stuff like that, no doubt, which well, so we'd then have to go check and it may miss things, so you can't just rely on it, but it certainly gives you a really solid place to start, which you otherwise just wouldn't have. So yeah, it's doing the conclusion now. Hmm. AI and chatbots are changing the way we interact with technology. Well, they are, to be honest. I mean, how often have you rung up a helpline only to find yourself having to explain to a computer roughly what you want? And those are the most basic kind of applications. Quite often they don't really have a huge amount of AI to them. It's just, you know, turning voice to text and then matching you to the appropriate person that you need to pass it on to, to, to get your problem so sorted. But there's going to be a lot of people out of work because of this. But hopefully there's also going to be a lot of, you know, new work that can be generated for people to do. I mean, in the past, that's what's happened, like with the Luddites, for example, you know, throwing their, their Luds? No idea. Anyway, they're breaking the machines in the mills because they were worried that, that you know, the machines in the factories and the mills were actually going to you know, put them out of a job. Whereas that didn't really happen as such, or at least if they couldn't work in the mills, they could then work on the... Uh, sorry, my, my girlfriend is killing herself laughing in the background now. I'm obviously <laughs> being very unintentionally funny somehow. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. I'm, I'm very impressed with this. I definitely think people should, you know, have a go with it and see what they think. You know, see if there is somewhere that they can, you know, find a use for it. Um, I will certainly use it as a way to sort of do a bit of background planning and, and research into some of the topics I'm going to talk about on my vlog channel. Luckily, I won't be putting anyone out of a job in that department because I don't employ anyone to do it. So for me, it's just upside and hopefully making myself be a bit more productive and fast paced with the creation of content for YouTube. But we will see. Perhaps we shouldn't be too worried about the rise of AI, although there are definitely some ethical things that people need to bear in mind in the way it's used. Although I am, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Dune movies and the Dune books, and there was a quote about the rise of machines from Dune. Let's see if ChatGPT can find it quickly. What is the quote from Frank Herbert's Dune related to machines, thinking machines, thinking machines, thinking machines. There we go, let's try that. Might not be able to do this, this is more of a Thing I would stick into Google usually, and Google is very good at finding the information you want. He's having a proper old think. <laughs> and the response is, I must not fear, fear. Yeah, it just stopped there, which is not the quote I'm looking for. That's, um, that's a different quote. The quote I am looking for is, Google, where's Google gone? That's what we need right now. We need some Google. Google will do it. Google does everything. Google's got its own chatbot they're working on called, I think it's Bart. Seems like a bit of a, well, Bard? No, it's Bard, it's not Bart. Bart is the Simpsons, and that would make no sense. Um, right. Uh, Dune, quote, why there are no machines. I was thinking machines. Yes, there you go. See, I told you, Google. Amazing piece of kit. Once men turned their thinking over to machines in the hope that this would set them free, but they only permitted other men with machines to enslave them. That could be very prescient. It'll be up to governments and society at large to make sure that that doesn't happen. Right, well, I think that just about wraps it up for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you don't already. Links are in the description. And uh, I'll see you all in the next episode of my vlog. Bye. I have no idea. Did I say I talked about the Luddites before, but I have a feeling that that bit was just got lost to the ether because this camera only records five minutes and then it just turns itself off. And if I put my glasses down, they're polarized and the screen is polarized the opposite way. So I can't see if it's recording still. <laughs>
and this is the outtake.